welcome dear students in this video we will discuss equilibrium of rigid bodies now for a rigid body in static equilibrium all the external forces and moments should be balanced that means that there should be no translatory motion as well as no rotatory motion so as in the case of particles uh, when we studied the equilibrium of particles uh, then we see that uh, there is no unbalanced force and all the resultant forces should be zero similarly for a rigid body to be in equilibrium the necessary and sufficient condition is that all the forces and moments should be zero the resultant of all the forces and resultant of all the moments should be zero that means summation of all the external forces should be zero and similarly summation of all the moments at a particular point should be zero and this thing we can also write in the form of rectangular components so we will be having six scalar equations so for forces summation of fx should be zero summation of fy should be zero summation of fz should be zero similarly for moments summation of mx summation of my and summation of mz should be zero now first step to solve the rigid body equilibrium problems is to prepare a free body diagram okay so suppose this is the figure this is our rigid body okay so first step is to prepare a free body diagram okay so this is the actual figure and now what we have to do we have to select the extent of the free body and detach it from the ground and all other bodies okay so here we have prepared a free body diagram and we have detached the bodies from here so because our body is connected here but we have detached it and now we have to indicate the point of application magnitude and direction of external forces including the rigid body weight so we have to show all the forces okay so for example uh, here a weight is hanging so we have to show this force then we have some weight of the body so that can be applied at the center of gravity so this is shown here and then we have some reaction forces so this is a roller type of support so here we have a uh, this reaction and uh, here we have this type of reaction okay so we have to indicate the point of application and assume direction of unknown applied forces if we do not know the direction of any force then we have to assume some direction and then we have to show the direction of unknown applied forces these usually consist of reactions through which the ground and other bodies oppose the possible motion of the rigid body so you have to identify uh, the uh, reaction forces means from where the reaction forces might act and you have to assume some direction for that and then you have to show on the free body diagram then include the dimension necessary to compute the moments so because whenever we are calculating the equilibrium problem then we need to calculate the moment and equate it to zero so we need dimensions for example in this case we have these dimensions 2 meter and 4 meter and this 1.5 meter so these dimensions should also be included in the free body diagram now let us understand the reaction forces when uh, there is some support because whenever you are studying the equilibrium problems for rigid bodies then uh, you will have to show 
the unknown reactions. So how will you showing up those reactions? So let us see that. Now suppose your body is having some roller type of support, this type of support or some rocker type of support or your body is placed on some frictionless surface, then you will be showing the reaction as normal to the surface. Okay. So the reaction will always be normal like this means uh, perpendicular at the point of contact. So the direction is known, known line of action that is always perpendicular. Okay. Similarly, suppose uh, if your body is connected with a cable or some link, then the direction of reaction will be in the line of cable or in the line of link. Okay, so you should always show reaction like this. And in the third case, suppose your body is uh, on a collar, which is and the collar is on this friction frictionless rod so that this can move okay so and same is the case with frictionless pin in slot so that this can move so in that uh, case you will uh, represent the friction uh, reaction as perpendicular to this axis okay so whatever this axis is so you will take this 90 degree angle and you will represent the reaction like that. So in all these supports, the direction of the force is known to you. Now, uh, suppose we are having a frictionless pin or hinge. Okay. So your body is placed on a frictionless pin or hinge or it is simply placed on a rough surface. Okay, so in that case, the direction is unknown. Okay, so you have to represent the reaction force by uh, F for which you do not know the direction. Okay, so this alpha is unknown. Okay, and uh, you can also break into the components. So suppose if this is your F, then this is will be Fx and this will be f by y so in these type of supports you have to show reaction force like this while in case of fixed support if your body is fixed at some location then you have to add one couple also so unknown force plus a couple this is how you will show the reactions for fixed support okay Now consider this body. So and this body is in 2D. So we are considering the 2D case equilibrium of a rigid body in two dimensions. Okay. So now for this case, because we are dealing with X and Y directions, so FZ is zero. And similarly, there is no moment in X and Y directions. Okay. While all the moments will be in Z directions. Okay. Now what we can do, we can break all these forces into the components. So this P force can be baked into Px and Py. Similarly for Q and S, then we will have the weight of the body. So that can be shown vertically downwards. And uh, there are two supports. Okay. So at this support, uh, this is a hinge type of support. So we will have an unknown. And, and direction force so which we can show by two components okay and uh, this is a roller type of support so for roller type of support we have just seen that the re uh, reaction force is perpendicular so now we have uh, um, placed all the forces okay now there are three equations that will be formed with three unknowns Okay, so these are summation of fx is 0, summation of fy is 0 and the summation of m at any point. So in this case, we have considered a point. So summation of a is equals to 0. Now what we can do, we can always 
uh, use some another equation also so we can replace the summation of fy with summation of mb so so always three equations should be there okay uh, we cannot use four equations but only three equations but uh, we can uh, replace the equation okay so we can replace uh, fx also in place of fx we can use summation of fy0 summation of ma is equal to 0 and summation of mb is equal to 0 so in this case we can find the unknown forces some forces are known some forces are unknown especially reactions so you can find the unknown reactions now in some cases some statically indeterminate reactions are formed so there are three cases so as you can see in the first case in this case more unknowns than equations okay so you will be having four unknowns but you can only form three equations so we cannot solve this type of problem similarly in this case fewer unknowns than equations so again we are having fewer unknowns than equations and this is partially constrained okay so this figure is partially constrained means in some direction its movement is not possible okay so suppose uh, uh, you can see here we are having Px, Qx and Sx but uh, there is no force in the uh, negative x direction okay so this is partially constrained here we are having no reaction force okay no reaction force which can balance these forces okay and uh, similarly uh, we have again in the third figure also equal number equations and uh, unknowns but improperly constrained okay so again we do not have any reaction force in this direction okay so these type of problems are not possible to solve now let us solve a problem uh, related to equilibrium of rigid body so this is the same figure which we have discussed and uh, we have also uh, prepared the free body diagram okay so this is our problem a fixed crane has a mass of 1000 kg so mass of this crane is 1000 kg and it is used to lift a 2400 kg crate so this crane is used to lift this weight which is 2400 okay it is held in place by a pin at a so here we are having a pin support while at b we are having a rocker support okay the center of gravity of the crane is located at g so this is the center of gravity okay and we have to determine the components of the reactions at A and B. And this should be the solution procedure. Create a free body diagram. Then determine B by solving the equation for the sum of the moments of all forces about A. Then determine reactions at A by solving the equations for the sum of all horizontal force and vertical forces and then check the values obtained okay so let us see the solution so this free body diagram we have already uh, made in the previous slides also so we are using same free body diagram so this is the weight this is the weight of the crane this is the weight which crane is lifting so both will act downward and uh, at the pin support we will be having two reactions while at the rocker support we will be having only one reaction okay so now first step is to equate the moment at a equals to zero okay so this is our a point okay now at a point we will be having the moment of 
this force this force and b okay now the moment of this b will be Uh, uh, this is our A, okay. So B will rotate in the anti-clockwise direction. B rotate in the anti-clockwise direction. So this is positive, and the moment of these forces are in clockwise directions, okay. So they are negative. So B into 1.5. This is the 1.5 distance, and 9.81 into 2, while 23.5 into 6 this distance okay so when you solve this uh, equation you will get b is equal to 107.1 k newton now you will take summation of fx is equal to 0 so in the x direction we have only two force ax and b so ax plus b should be 0 from this you can get a as minus 107.1 kN. Now this minus sign means that Ax should act in this direction. Okay, Ax will act in this direction. And similarly you can calculate A by Y equating summation of Fy is equal to 0. Then in the Y direction we have Ay in the positive. Okay, this, if you are considering this as positive, then this is negative, this is negative this one so three forces are there in the y direction so sum of all the three forces is zero then you can get a y is equal to 33.3 kilo newton okay so this is how you can solve the problems of rigid body equilibrium so thanks everyone thanks for watching the video have a nice day